When you live in an RV full time, winter can be a bit of a challenge, especially water pipes. Jesse wanted to do a little video on how we have insulated our above ground water pipe and spigot. What he did was he talked to the Corps of Engineer maintenance crew at the lake and they told him how they insulate the pipes with their instructions and Jesse's ideas because he's really good at this kind of stuff. He came up with a way to insulate our above the ground water pipe and spigot. And so far we've gotten below freezing several nights and we have not had a single problem. We haven't even had the water dripping inside, you know, to keep it going. The supplies Jesse had to get to do this project was a six inch sewer pipe and we got very lucky in that we happened to personally know a plumber who helped us with this. Finding a small piece of six inch sewer pipe at a hardware store is almost impossible. They don't want to cut it for you. A cap to go on top of that pipe and you may have to get an adapter. We did because our six inch sewer pipe did not have threads on the inside. And an elbow to run from the water pipe out to the spigot. Jesse chose to get a concrete block from Lowe's, just a little square to serve as a stand for the insulating pipe and wrap. What Jesse initially did was to cut the water pipe below the level of the spigot. That's where he's going to add the elbow that will run out to the spigot through the insulating six inch sewer pipe. So initially what he did was to cut a hole in that concrete square. He drilled it and kind of trimmed it out, chiseled it out, so that it was wide enough to slip over the water pipe and go to the ground. Then he cut a hole in the wall of the six inch sewer pipe to serve as the opening for the spigot piping. Add an elbow at the top of the water pipe for the spigot piping to connect to. Insulation goes inside? Yes. And then you're just going to put it together on the inside? Slide it in there. Oh, okay. That's all I'm going to do. Gotcha. Okay. And glue it. Slide it in. And just slide it in. And then put more insulation there in the center? On top. On top right here. Right here. Okay. Because it's going on top. This is top enough. Okay. So Jesse spray painted it yellow. It's just a six inch PVC pipe with an adapter on top and a cap screwed on. He set it on a cement block and put a hole in it, dropped it right over the water pipe, fully insulated inside. And there it is, the finished project with a water pressure regulator on it. Yes, I know, we'll have to take it off for the winter, but it's good for now. And then Jesse added insulating wrap and put it around it as his final step, just in case he needed some more. And he left a little flap so he could get inside and get to the knobs in case he needed to turn on our second water hose. He also used some insulating foam, the kind you get at any of the hardware stores, to put our electric cord on to keep it off the ground. And it goes right up to the breaker box on our property. We were fortunate enough to know a plumber that lived in the area and I'd like to give him a shout out right here, Daniel Boyette, Grenada, Mississippi. He runs a plumbing HVAC um, concrete business. And he
he's an all around great guy. I'm trying to get out of the wind. It's windy. So he gave us the six inch wide sewer pipe. I think he gave us like 36 inches. Daniel also gave us insulation to go on the inside of the piping, which you're gonna need also.